Welcome back. There's a man in the 608 who's hoping to inspire others into living a healthier lifestyle. Josh Breider is here with the story this morning. Hey, Josh. Hey, guys. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning to everyone at home. Many of us have struggled with healthy eating and fitness before, but one local man turned his life around in a big way, and now he hopes to make a positive impact on others. I knew I wanted to, to get healthy for my family. You might not even recognize Corey Kundert at the gym these days. He's working to put these images from summer 2020 behind him. At 29 years old, he was pushing 400 pounds. I was working in Madison before COVID hit, and I was stopping at gas stations um, in fast food restaurants on the way up, on the way back still eating full dinners, just wasn't a healthy lifestyle. Corey says he was consuming between seven and 8,000 calories a day. I was feeling miserable after I ate, and I, I just needed to make a change. The new father was also having a hard time keeping up to his one-year-old daughter at the time and had plans to have another child with his wife, Dana. She was starting to get more active, uh, running around outside, and I really wanted to be there for her. One year later, a 100-pound difference. It, it's really transformed everything in me. Corey says he started slow, focusing on his goals with a nutritionist and downloaded the MyFitnessPal app to track his daily intake. He's down to eating just 2,500 calories a day along with reaching 100 grams of protein. The first eight months, I was losing 10 pounds a month consistently. After about two months of focusing on his diet, he was able to start working out on a regular basis at the Greene County Family YMCA. It took a long time for my legs and my lungs to, to work up to where I needed them to be. Corey says he's now able to keep up with his kids. Yes, kids. The couple welcomed their second daughter earlier this month. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep moving forward. He's even training to run a 5K next month. Corey tells me that if he can work toward a new lifestyle, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Throughout this whole thing, my mantra has been discipline, consistency, and hard work. So create your own mantra. Figure out what you want to say to get you to where you need to be. Great advice, Corey. He is set to run his first 5K after training this Saturday, guys, just two days before he turns 30. He also recently started a podcast called Wisco Legacy and inspiring folks to living a healthier lifestyle and finding happiness. I've got links up on channel3000.com this morning. Josh, as my workout buddy, you and I both know, you know, the importance of doing this the right way, eating right, taking your time, working out. You said he didn't take any sort of supplements or dietary things to help him out with this, right? This was all natural for him. Yeah. It started with just focusing on his calories. You know, he went from 8,000 calories to eating just 2,500 calories a day and then cutting out the pop. He had three bottles of soda every day, guys, and just by cutting that yeah. out, he was able to kind of get his self in the right direction and then was able to start working out a couple of months after that. So it wasn't like he just dove right into all of this. I know a lot of us, no matter what your goals are, we always try to go all in 100% right away, but sometimes you have to just take one step at a time mm -hmm. and working your way up there. But I mean, 100 pounds in a year, guy, that's incredible. And I know he's just getting started. It's really impressive. Yeah, and he really built that momentum, you can tell. Like, once you cut out this and you start getting more energy, like he said, you know, once he got his legs trained up and his lungs, you know, back to capacity, you know, then he's off and rolling and at the races. Josh yeah, and really I asked inspiring. him, yeah, I asked him, like, what his goals were in the future. He's like, I really don't have any goals. I'm just happy and I'm feeling good. So I'm just going to keep going with that. And I think that's uh, something to say for itself, too. Sometimes you just got to do what your body tells you to do and just go with it. And he's doing it for his kids. He yes. wants to spend time with his kids, be able to play with them, and then be with them for years afterward. Yeah, it's. I mean, I think when it comes down to being there for your family and yes. wanting to, you know, be positive impact on them, I think that's huge in itself. Makes life worth living. Josh Spryder, thanks a lot. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him in the 608 at WICTV.com.